here's something I just wanted to point out before we move on. It says, well, Daniel says in verse 37, God has given you a kingdom. And this is the fascinating thing because Nebuchadnezzar does not worship the Hebrew God. He probably worships Bel Marduk and, and right. other Babylonian gods. And yet God is using him. The Bible calls him a servant on, on occasion. And, uh, and it makes you wonder how many times do we give ourselves credit for what goes on in our lives, our accomplishments, what we've been permitted right. to do right. in life. And I think we're all going to find out one day that God permitted that. That That's right. he really was still driving. So God allowed Nebuchadnezzar to have this kingdom, and in part because his own people, the, the Hebrew nation, had gone astray and needed a bit of a corrective That's uh, right. to get them back on track. And so God allowed Nebuchadnezzar to rise to this peak, and he's completely ignorant of the fact that it's Daniel's God who gave this to him. And Scripture calls uh, Nebuchadnezzar, um, God calls him his golden cup, and and he, he uses uh, uses a heavy hand against against Jerusalem, but you know Nebuchadnezzar is a proud man. He's a, he's a proud king, and I guess it would be hard not to be if you if you had that kind of power and that kind of kingdom. Um, that Daniel chapter one through four uh, really is a it's a battle between two two kings. It's a battle between two creators. You, know, you mm. have God, uh, who is the creator of all things, and then you have you have Nebuchadnezzar, and and. It, it, the pinnacle of all this is is Daniel chapter four, right? As as uh, Nebuchadnezzar is walking out, he's looking out, and he looks at all this all this glory and splendor and gold and all this stuff, and and he says, "Look at what I have built." Right. And um, and it's interesting to me that uh, at the end of all of that, in Daniel chapter four, verse thirty seven. Uh, this is this is where Nebuchadnezzar ends up when it's all said and done. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the King of Heaven, all of whose works are truth and his ways justice, and those who walk in pride, he is able to put down. Hmm. And of course, he just got done from uh, seven years of being uh, basically a wild An beast animal, eating, right. eating grass yeah. out there. And, and so God is is using all of this uh, not only to tell us what's going to happen in the future. But also to um, to save this king, and it, it's it's incredible that that God even even um, even looks at at kings themselves and says, you know what, I'm I'm going to influence them them too. Wow, yeah, and I guess that that removes all the temptation to have a we and they attitude as Christians. It's not us versus the world; they're all God's children, and He's working with people that may not know Him formally yet. That's but right. May be in a relationship with God. Absolutely. 